हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संयुक्ता वेलकम टू पार्ट थ्री ऑफ आर सेशन ऑन द टैंगल वेल एज इन टैंगल ओरिजिनल एंड टुडे वी विल बी टेकिंग द पैटर्न अ स्टेप फॉरवर्ड एंड वी विल लर्न हाउ टू यूज द सेम ग्रिड टू ड्रॉ वन और टू मोर पैटर्न राइट सो टुडे आई एम पिकिंग अप अ पैटर्न कॉल्ड ट्रेलिना विच इज अ पैटर्न बाय दी जी टी एनी ओकेन uh it starts somewhat like you know the pattern well like this and then it deviates and we start adding these shapes over this original grid of well that we drew like this right again rotate your tile and then again the same exercise right like this so this is a pattern called trellina it is not is entangle original by i but i picked up this pattern because i wanted to show you how you can use the same starting point to draw different patterns right so you can see here how the initial grid of well has been totally transformed into a different pattern right and the last one so this is the pattern trellina right today we will go we will be using this pattern in our tile and a couple of more patterns right and take the learning of well a little further so let us start drawing our tile right away i just showed you how to draw the pattern trellina right so i've started with an orb and then i'm going to draw these lines just like well perpendicular to each other as a starting point right and then start from one of the sides draw two or three of such lines starting from one end to the other end and then just echo or aura these turning them into one side which is the right side like this right again rotate my tile start from here go to the other end like this and then echo this or keep oraing this till you reach the end that is the smallest aura again i have tilted it on the right side right again rotate start here 2 3 4 and then the same exercise right oraing till the end and then the last one 1 2 3 4 and then repeat the same shape all the four tilted towards the right reducing the size right so this is the pattern trellina by anyokin starts just like wells that is why i thought of picking it up right and doing a tile with it and now let us add one or two more tangles to it so what i'm going to do is use this tip and we just learned the pattern holis in the last session right so just going to continue adding holis right so started with holis as if they are coming out of this tips drawing behind 
right again picking up this tip drawing the pattern hollis right drawing behind wherever required again bringing it here drawing behind right right so i'm drawing the pattern hollis here and just go with the flow hollis is a beautiful filler pattern we have already learned this pattern in a previous session right so just drawing behind wherever required So Hollis is a pattern that really grows on you once you start drawing it. This moves in just about any direction, just like Mooka going crazy. I always get that feeling when I draw the pattern Hollis. And I really enjoy drawing it. Because it really looks like it is creeper that is growing on you. And just don't feel like stopping. You just feel like drawing and drawing and drawing, right? So it's a beautiful pattern. And uh, it's a good idea to draw behind. Looks nice with Hollis also. So I think that's enough and uh, we'll now pick up one more pattern to fill up a little of the empty spaces that we have. So I'm going with the pattern jet tees here, right? So I'm adding one more pattern jet tees to my tile, right? So. We already know how to draw the pattern jetties. I'm just drawing an orb, adding two lines cutting across the orb, orying those two lines, and then generally in the original tangle, the section in between is inked with a highlight. However, it is up to you what do you want to do with that band. Right, so I've added some orbs. So this is how I'm going to be adding some more jetties to my tile. Right, wherever I find place, like this. Right. So you can see here I have added the pattern jetties in between my hollis, right? Wherever I could find little space, I have added jetties. 
you can add more if you want so I have just tried to fill up the spaces left in between the holes by adding the pattern objectives right now what we are going to do is pretty simple I am going to be inking all the rest of the space in black right so what I am going to do is the rest of the tile whatever the space is left in between my jetties and my hollis I'm going to simply ink it right so you can use your PN or O8 nib and just ink the rest of the spaces right So you have to be little careful, go slow. As you already know by now, how inking adds a lot of drama to the tile. Right? So I'm going to ink this part which is left behind after drawing the Hollis Trelina and my jetties, right? So I've almost completed my inking, right? And this is how my tile looks after inking all the empty spaces. So there's a little bit left here and I'm going to finish it up. is entirely up to you whether you want to ink it or not you can add some more tangles like tipple or other filler tangles to fill in the spaces or you can also leave it the way it was right that is empty looks good either ways so I'm now moving on to shading my tile right so what I'm going to do is add some graphite on this line that I have drawn initially right and some on these edges like this right so some graphite on both the edges like this right and then jetties you have an option either you shade on these two lines or you shade on one side my personal favorite shading on one side jetties look really nice right so adding some dark graphite on one side of my jetties and then I'll blend it right like this on all the jetties like this right Right. I think I've added to all. I think this space is left. I missed inking it. Yeah. So now, as far as our Hollis is concerned. 
I'm going to add some graphite on the tips, right, first and then we'll see if we need to add some more. So let us start blending now. So I'm going to be pulling this graphite towards the center but not cover the center. So Trellina is a beautiful rendition of how you can intermingle tangles, how one tangle just flows into other, how they are related, correlated. It's a beautiful example, right? So just drew the wells string or grid and then converted it into Trellina, right? So such a beautiful pattern. Right, so I think I'll add some graphite at the places from where they are starting at the intersections. A touch. the intersections where they are crossing each other from where they are emanating right they are crossing each other just like Holbog then the places where they are crossing right So shading is always fun in all you can actually see your tile turn alive once you shade it right it really brings it into life So take your time, go slow, enjoy. So this is how the tile looks, 
after we have added some shading and a touch of highlight on my Perlina with the white charcoal like this right so I am now going to initial my tile so let me find out a big jetty right so sign and date it And we'll meet again in part 4 of well where we'll explore the pattern well 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 yes that is what I told you well within well within well yeah so take care see you goodbye